You know, it's not too often that you catch these corporations showing the public the kind of assholes they really are. Now, you remember back when I made the video about the gas prices and everybody said we got a shortage and, you know, because of the pipeline, most people had no idea of what's really going on, which really doesn't surprise me. I mean, after all, most people have fallen for the propaganda of Ukraine and Russia. And it's amazing. But when this story was released earlier today, I, I couldn't resist. Applebee's executive Wayne Pankratz says high gas prices could help them cut wages. And now the restaurant might face some backlash. Did you guys catch that story? Basically, this Wayne Pankras um, had sent an email. I'll have, an e I'll have the email in this video. You can pause and read it. And uh, read it for yourself. Uh, the email appears to have been sent on March 9th to company leadership, so basically people below him. Um, Wayne Pankratz serves as an executive director of operations at American Franchise Capital, um, a private equity firm that owns a handful of Applebee's and franchises in the Midwest. Now, in the email, it states the sub subject line, which reads, why gas increase is good for hiring. So the gas prices going up are great for him. You have to understand, most people that work at Applebee's, I mean, they really don't make much money. I mean, they're, they're basically living paycheck to paycheck. Well, Wayne Pankratz um, wrote, everyone has heard that the gas prices continue to rise. The advantage to this has for us is that it will increase application flow and has the potential to lower our average wage. Wow. So, supply and demand. If a company gets more applications and has all kinds of people wanting a job there, what does that mean? The executives, the CEOs at the top, can basically say, hey, lower the wages, man. Cut the benefits. We got so many people that need a job, it's unbelievable. You catching this? It's not whether not yet whether known whether or not he's gonna be disciplined by the higher ups, basically. Now I went to search for his LinkedIn page and uh, it's gone. It's been deleted. So either he deleted it or somebody else in the company did. Now, an executive at American Franchise Company, which owns 67 Taco Bells and 50 Applebee restaurants. That's what this guy's in charge of. It's amazing. Do you really eat at Applebee's? I'm actually surprised that people eat at Taco Bell. My wife loves Taco Bell. I go through that drive through and I'm just like, this has got to be the grossest food I've ever seen in my life. You don't even know what they put in the meat. It looks like it went through a blender. You don't see what they did. You don't even know if that's cat food in there. You have no idea if that's real hamburger. I look at that and I go, that's that's like eating barf. Throw some spices in it and some preservatives and people will line up and eat it. Taco Bell is just gross. Applebee's, I went there once. And when I sat down at the table and I set my arms on the table, my arms were covered in grease. I was disgusted. The waitress came over, I stood up, I said, I'm sorry, I can't eat here. The table's filthy. I was very polite, and I left the restaurant. I mean, why people go to Applebee's, I don't know. I always see cars in there. I really do. Can, can you guys tell me why people go there? I don't think the food's good. But it says here, one worker said that I found on a post, this person says, I used to work at Applebee's, and they, at least the one I worked at, cooked the steak in the microwave. Everything is microwave. Frozen bags of slop. 
I'll never understand how this chain is so popular. Support your real neighborhood restaurants. That's amazing. Everything's microwaved. And then another person said, high gas prices means I can't afford to eat at a restaurant and tip. I'll stay home and cook my own food. That makes more sense to me. Way more sense to me. Do you know this is your opportunity to fight back? You don't got to stand and endure the weather, nothing. If you actually said, I'm not going to go to a restaurant until gas prices come down, that's your way of standing up to bring gas prices down. Don't go to McDonald's. Don't go to these franchises. Don't go to these places that corporations own. They own you. They control you. This freaking guy, Wayne Pankratz, it's like I told you what CEOs do. They sit behind their desk like spiders, weaving their webs, trying to figure out how to save their investors' money. They don't care about the people that work for them. They don't care about the people that are eating at the restaurant. Nobody cares. All they care about is how much they can screw somebody. And what do you think this guy makes? I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. If you find it, post it in the comments. I couldn't find what this guy makes. And I'll bet you it's not no freaking $10 an hour. Wayne Pankratz. You're a real fucking asshole if you ever see this video. Unbelievable. People are doing everything they can to put food on the table. And this man is doing everything he can to make them starve more. It's ridiculous. Things are not getting better, they're getting worse. The CEOs, the directors, the executives, all they're doing is screwing people left, right, and center. And unless you people start to stand up for what you believe in and treating people fairly, it's not going to change. Why anybody eats at these places, I'll never know. McDonald's, I mean, any of them. They're garbage. They're super unhealthy. They make you fat. They don't even use real beef. Everything that's been proven about these companies and these restaurants for years. And my video ain't going to matter because you're still going to be in line. You fools. Complete fools. You get what you deserve. Because... When somebody can get away with this and say, I'm glad the gas prices are going higher and I can take advantage of more people, the applications are going to flow. We can lower the wages now. We don't have to pay them $12 an hour. We can pay them 9 But you don't see them lowering the executives or the CEOs or none of their wages, do you? Nope. Drive down the drag where all the restaurants are. It's ridiculous. There's not any that are healthy. And a mom and pop restaurant, believe me, cannot go down that drag and rent a shop because it's far too expensive. They don't have the money. I mean, you take a Taco Bell, a McDonald's, a Burger King, any of them, um, they can rip down a building and two, three months later have a brand new one built like it's nothing. You paid for that. You paid for it. Wayne Pankratz's wages. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't go to Applebee's. I'm sorry. I don't want microwave food. But if you do, eh, keep going. Keep screwing the little guy. We're good at it. I'll catch you guys on the next one.